So let's talk a little bit about short circuit evaluation. And short circuit evaluation isn't something you're going to do explicitly in your programs, but it's more something that happens in the background of your programs. So what is short circuit evaluation? Well, it's a process in which the computer evaluates a logical expression from left to right and stops as soon as the expression value is known. So let's look at an example of this. So let's say we have this expression that's looking if this age variable is greater than or equal to 21 or if this x variable is equal to 5. But let's just care about this first expression uh, to start out. And if this age variable is greater than or equal to 21, then we're never going to have to uh, look at this right-hand side because this side is true. And let's look at the truth table for the OR operator kind of, to kind of understand this. So if we look at expression 1 for the OR operator, we notice no matter what, if the first expression is true, we always get true. So C++ will never evaluate the second expression in this case. But with these other cases, if it's false, you see it could be true, which would make it true, or the second expression could be false, which would make it false. So in this case, it would need to check the expression too. Let's look at an example with and. And here one is. So if we are testing if this grade variable is equal to A and this X variable is greater than or equal to seven, then if grade is anything other than A, we never have to evaluate the right-hand side. Because if it's not A, then it's going to equate to false. And if we look at the AND operator's truth table, you can see when something equates to false in the first expression, then it will always equate to false. So there's no need to check the second expression. But if something were to equate to true, it could be true, which would make the whole expression true. Um, or the second expression could be false, which would make your whole expression false. So if the first expression is true, you do need to check this second expression. And that's really all you need to know about short circuit evaluation.